heard a very modern, very new stadium. What about uh, fans? Have many fans made the uh, journey over? Well, all the planes going out this morning from Heathrow were absolutely rammed full of fans. Uh, Nikropetrovsk isn't that easy. As you can imagine, it's quite a small place, only about a million people, and you can't get direct flights from the UK, but that's never, ever going to stop England fans. Uh, nor is the fact that it, for England, it's a meaningless game now. For, the, for Ukraine, it means an awful lot, because they can still finish second and, and get through to the players, but England is a dead rubber. I'm sure, though, uh, that when we speak to Fabio in a, in a short while, he'll be saying that it does mean a lot to the players, and their World Cup preparations start here. Uh, we've been told uh, via Villa Matt, by Matka, that uh, the part of town you're staying in is a little bit Dodge City. It's been, there's been a bit of a turf war going on in that. So you keep your head down, Mo. Have you seen any sign of that at all? Well, not so far. I see everyone's been very friendly so far. Apart from the uh, customs officials, as you can imagine, that trying to get into the country was a little bit hairy. But no, the expression that someone said to me uh, was bandit country. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, don't go out at night. And things the sun's just about to set. Um, I haven't got too long. I'm slightly worried about my walk home with all the uh, talk sport kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From the stadium back to the hotel. That's worth over six quid, some of that as well, <laughs> isn't it? Really? <laughs> well, just a little bit. Now, um, before we let you go, you are our official taster uh, on this show, uh, Mike. So, um, what, what's the food been like so far? What have you been uh, feasting on? It's airline food. The, the, the finest food available to Austrian airlines. Beautiful. Uh, that's all I've managed to get. We are being taken out for dinner by Nationwide this evening, so uh, uh, I look forward to trying some fair. Uh, but so, so far, I haven't had a chance to, to test the local delicacies. Uh, very much like Russian food. Um, it, it's uh, a part of the world where they, they have a lot of farming here. They also make nuclear missiles, oh. uh, which I was delighted to find out. Um, it was the place where the Soviets uh, made all their nuclear missiles, and they're very proud of that fact. And indeed, there are lots of ro rockets and things um, on plinths around the streets, tanks on plinths. Uh, that's the kind of thing you get around here. As for the food, uh, apparently borscht and, and that nice hefty stew, so I'll be tucked. In later on. It would be interesting if uh, Capello talked about Shevchenko again, saying because it was fantastic here in the middle of the he never failed to score against teams he manages. Well, it's the, uh, the game against Ukraine at Wembley was a bit dodgy for England, needed a late goal. Shevchenko scored for Ukraine in that match, uh, and uh, it needed a very late John Terry goal for England to get the win. Possibly the hardest game of the qualifying campaign so far, so uh, I'm sure he will talk about Shevchenko. And the fact that he's back playing in uh, Ukraine, and he's back in a, in a place where he's happy, and he's back scoring goals again. Excellent. Cheers, Mike. Good to talk to you. Thanks very yeah. much. Safe, safe time, Mike. Cheers, boys. Uh, Mike Boville there over in... The Dnieper before the uh, game, the third city. Uh, we take it the fans know it's been moved. They're not always hanging around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Regular updates, of course, on Talksport tomorrow night. Uh, another huge game, not tomorrow afternoon. Another huge game tomorrow night at Croke Park in Dublin. Uh, it's uh, the Republic versus Italy, and as we often say, when they've been playing in this group of men with a foot in both camps, uh, is uh, Paddy Agnew, our Italian football correspondent. Good afternoon, Paddy. Good afternoon, folks. Nice to be back in the old country, is it? Well, I suppose the uh, 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 Trafton is practical because it's hell of Malahai, which is on the on, on, on the coast, and there's a wind of about a gale force wind uh, blowing in and rain coming down, yeah. uh, and the temperature's about 10 degrees. Now, when I left Rome yesterday, the temperature's 27 degrees, so I'm not quite sure how happy I'm doing. Now yeah. you realise why you've moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's a, it'll be a big atmosphere tomorrow night because obviously the yeah. down road's a bit long gone, and it's uh, croaked. Oh, it'll be back. I oh, know it's coming back. Yeah, 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 it's coming back. I know it, it'll be. Um, there's still tickets available. It's an 2000 seat or a croak of art. Um, and they're, uh, but there's, they're going to be turning 70, 70 to 5,000 people there tomorrow. Uh, the, I suppose, in a sense, this, to my mind, this would have been an absolutely fantastic game if Italy had come here needing a result. But as we all know, they've come here with the four point cushion. They can even lose tomorrow and they can still win the group. Uh, so, to, to a certain extent, that the pressure's off, certainly the pressure's very much off Italy. There's a bit of pressure on, on Ireland, but at, at the end of the day, there's a slight, slight, slight feeling of anticlimax about this game because it seems that the. Uh, this group is going to finish as we always thought it was going to finish, with uh, Italy winning it and Ireland second. And uh, the question, the big question then remaining is who do Ireland get in the playoffs? Yeah. He's, he's named his team, Trapattoni, which is uh, interesting. What did he have to say about that, giving you his uh, 11 today? Well, he, was talk he talked a lot about, uh, I mean, these players I don't know, but he talked a lot about the guy at Lawrence. Mm, Leo who, Lawrence, yeah. Who, um, he scored, I think he scored a very good free kick goal against South Africa in a friendly that Ireland played recently, and he was impressed by him. Yeah, he's decent. And uh, he hopes that... Uh, 
he said, you know, Italy have got a great free kick man in, uh, and corner kick taker in, in Piero. We need something like that, and then maybe we'll add some to our game. Mm, uh, <clears throat> Shay Given coming up to his 100th cap and yeah. uh, Garni reminding us of Roy Keane saying a couple of years back he says I think players have agendas certain players come over all the time no matter what maybe they want to get 50 or 100 caps and a pat on the back for it Shay's one of those he wants to get 200 caps <laughs> it's terrible he's a terrible bloke really because Shay Given is a tremendous keeper yeah, yeah. he could play in any team in the world in fact we've got two great keepers tomorrow well, and also, and also Buffon must be getting very close to uh, yeah. 100 caps too I think isn't Buffon 98 as well? Mm. He's very close. Uh, we should talk about this the Cannavaro uh, situation yeah, over in Italy, this, uh, this yeah. failed drugs test. Tell us a bit more about that, Tony. Well, uh, well, we, we all know the story. He mm. claims he got a bee thing. He claimed he took a cortisone injection, uh, but the documentation for that somehow went missing. And uh, those are the bare facts. But the, the problem is this, is we know well, as we've talked many, many times in this program, the events have had problems with drugs before, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They were in court for uh, four years uh, and more. Uh, and therefore, talking to my Italian colleagues this morning, of course, um, they're not at all convinced that this is as straightforward as it might, be, uh, as it might at first have seemed. Uh, and uh, it sounds like there's one hell of a big thing about to blow up in Italy about this case. I mean, he's not playing tomorrow because of suspension, yeah. but they say he's going to meet up with the squad Sunday. It's not going to affect his, his obviously his place in the squad. Well, we presume not, but um, we might know a bit more. The Italians are actually in the air flying into Dublin as I speak, and we'll be seeing Leapy and, 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 the, and the team this evening. And I imagine that the first question everybody will be asking, what's the situation with Cannavaro? Will he be... Uh, will you use it for, for the game against uh, Cyprus? Yeah. Quickly, and uh, also David Beckham in the 